Well, you've all seen the video of me getting this little generator going. And um, she started, she's running lovely. Well, now, three days later, I'll come out to see what she's starting out like from cold. And I'll come and start her, see what she starts like. There's no primer on her, nothing. No choke. Just a matter of starting her. Okay, obviously she might need priming again, so um, I'll do that and we'll start her again and see how she goes. Okay guys, I um, I tried to start her again and she never started. I thought it needed priming, but um, it wasn't, it was stopping, starting, stopping, starting. After a little break each time it would start. So I thought to myself, hang on, if the oil level's low, once it splashes up, if it don't get a reading, it should cut out. So I put a little drop of oil in her and give her a tug and forgot the end result. Okay, the next job I need to do now, the last job I need to do on here now, is to check what power I'm getting off of the, the battery terminals. Because when I'm on the boat, this is what I'll be wanting it for. Negative and positive to charge me circuit. So let me just get the tester and see what we're getting. Okay, I've got the tester on 20 amps, um, 20 volts. And um, I've connected the two pins permanently on. So when she starts up, I should get a reading straight away. So fingers crossed, here we go. Quick start. And it's always a quick start. Banging out 15 volts, but I think it's because she's over revving. I need to slow the tick over down, so I'll see what I can do with that. Okay, I've played with the um, settings on the back, and um, she's now ticking over slower, and she's a lot quieter. And um, I tried the light. The light still kicks in and um, runs, as I'll show you in a minute. And um, I'm just going to try the tester now, now I've got her running. And just, she's starting just as good, even on slow tick over. So I'll show you now. There you go. Nope, she's a lot quieter. And she's still bringing out. Going well, now I've tried the, the grinder again, and the grinder does go now, but it takes a while to kick in. Let me do it. I need to change hands because I can't work her. There you go. So the grinder's working now. I've got her kicking the power up. When I charge her up, there you go. Slow starting, but it's doing the trick. Anyway, so end of the lesson. Plenty of volts for the battery charger, and the Jenny is working perfect. But now I need to come out and start her again tomorrow when she's cold. 
so I'll leave this until tomorrow and we'll see how we get on. Let her go cold overnight. Yeah, as I was saying, I think we've heard it when Jenny was running. The uh, grinder's going now. Now I've got the tick over down. When you put power on, she revs up and gives you the power you need. I'm getting the voltage I want off of me, um, power I need for me, uh, charger on me boat. And, um, end of story. I'll, I'll come out tomorrow when she's cold and restart her and see how she starts from cold. Anyway, let's see if I can make this other run. I've only got one. Only got one of these um, fittings to lock her up. So the other side will vibrate quite a bit. So I've got a screw that fits. And I need to weld some sort of little handle on there. So I'll do that now for something to do. Okay. After yesterday's... Um, Failure, um, tick over being wrong. I went all through the tick over and everything. It was the oil, as I said, being low. And now we're going to find out for sure what she starts like today from cold. Here she is. I made um, the little plug here I just showed you. So she won't vibrate no more. And here we go. Let's see how she starts. Fingers crossed. So when it's that lesson, she's all up and running and ready to go. So thanks for watching again guys. Peace out for now.